Hello everyone, my name is Sulav. I am the cyber security expert. So in this video, you are going to talk about what is log 4G vulnerability. So this is nowadays very popular in cyber security news as well as one of the most frequently asked questions in any of the cyber security interviews. Many people from my live training as well as from the YouTube comment also, they asked me to create this video. So here in this video, we are going to talk about what is log 4G vulnerability and how attacker can you know exploit uh, and take the advantage of that vulnerability as well as uh, if this vulnerability present your network and your web server how we can fix it how we can remediate it your full funda full concept is going to clear here let's talk about what is log 4j vulnerability so log 4j vulnerability is the weakness present in the apache web server in Apache web server, there is a small software utility that is called as log4j. So log4j software utility is being used to record the uh, activities log of, of the Apache web server, such as like uh, who has uh, you know accessed the website, who has uh, who has uh, incoming requests, as well as outgoing requests, error message, right? As well as performance logs such as memory utilization, CPU utilization. So these kind of logs are being recorded on the log for the software which is a small software inside the apache web server so now there is a vulnerability present on the log 4g software version log 4g software version 2.0 to 2.14 there is a vulnerability present weakness present using exploiting that vulnerability attacker can gain the access of the web server can further deploy some malwares and uh, can do the crypto mining can install the you know ransomware software and log the files can steal the sensitive information critical information proprietary information from your apache web server also attacker can you know uh, can install the botnet can make uh, the botnet of your web server and can launch further attacks using your web server so now let's talk about the apache web server let's dig down on this right so if you are planning to deploy any website and want to make it accessible for the outside user over the internet what you do first of all you set up one server right either it can be linux server or it can be windows server or it can be solaris or other servers right on that server you install the web application let's say there's the website that you hosted here right and that website you want to be accessible for the outside user right so your outside user cannot directly access the web application there should be some mediator which can take the request from the external user using web browser and send the request to the application and can get the data from the application and send it to the, send it to the and user right so there is a mediator that is called as web server so here you have to deploy the web server so web server take the http or http request p or https request from the end user and you have to integrate your web server with the application so in that case uh, it will request the, uh, receive the request and send it to the web application can retrieve the data and further you know send it to the end user right so in case you are using this web server as a apache web server means you bought this server from apache right so if it is apache web server if it is apache web server so in that case in apache web server there is a small application as discussed just now there is a small application inside that that is called as log 4g it is a small software java based utility that is called log 4j which is being used to record the activities log of your web server right so uh, this log 4j software it is there inside uh, you know uh, your uh, apache web server so in, in in case this log 4j version is 2.0 or 2.2.14 between 2.0 2.14 so there is a vulnerability present weakness present right so now let's understand how attacker can exploit this vulnerability and what is that vulnerability about how that vulnerability uh, you know uh, help attacker 
you know to exploit it to misuse this server right so let's talk about what attacker will do here so you know in this case if log4j vulnerable version is there in your apache web server so in that case what attacker will do in that case attacker redman right in that case what attacker will do is attacker will send a malicious malicious https HTTP or HTTPS formatted its string, formatted string. Attacker will send malicious HTTP or HTTPS formatted screen string to the Apache web server. Then, since the script is malicious and it has been written in such a way, so that script will further will be taken by the log forge, will be picked up by the log forge software. Log4j software has the inbuilt feature that is called as JNDI, JNDI which is, uh, which is Java, uh, uh, Java naming uh, dictionary interface, Java naming uh, you know uh, dictionary interface which is the inbuilt lookup. It has the feature on that Log4j, it has the inbuilt lookup, it can look up any file outside right so the vulnerability is that so you know uh, attacker has created this uh, this this malicious equipment in such a way that once it it is picked up with the log 4j software then using jndi lookup right so log 4j software will you know will look up the attacker server to download any malicious software it will look up attacker server to download some malicious software on the log 4j right and the vulnerability is that see vulnerability is that when attacker run the sends malicious activity uh, malicious you know string so block for the software before sending the jndi request to the attacker uh, to jndi lookup to the attacker server to you know to download some malicious software first of all before doing that log for the software should sanitize the input should verify the input whether input is really legitimate or not attacker has run some malicious, malicious formatted string but log for the software has not sanitized the input has not verified the input and directly started jndi lookup jndi lookup can be done using some protocol that is called as either ldap or RMI. There are, these are some, some of the uh, uh, protocol that is being used to do the JNDI lookup, right? So now, if it is vulnerable, if log4j that is called 2.0 to 2.14, those are vulnerable, uh, vulnerable log4j software which does not sanitize the string. Means they do not verify the string whether it's vulnerable or not, and whatever based on the string, attacker has already written where to do the lookup, right? And they start doing the lookup without verifying it's a malicious or not it's legitimate or not and then it will look up to a record server right and download some malicious software it can be the trojan using the trojan it can create the backdoor and give the attack control to the attacker command center server or it can download some ransomware fast ransomware software and uh, you know uh, uh, lock the file encrypt the file of the servers or it can be the malware of um, crypto mining once the software is fall att attacker can do the crypto mining or it can be the bot attacker can create the botnet your your server can be the part of botnet right and attacker can use particular system to launch the attack to some other system some other companies right so that is about the log 4g vulnerability and how attacker can you know exploit this vulnerability now let's talk about you know uh, how you know attack, how to remediate this vulnerability if this vulnerability is present in your network how you can remediate how can you fix it you know the fixing this vulnerability or remediating this vulnerability is very difficult it's not very straightforward because not only this website uh, using the Apache web server, many of the devices such as, let's say, talk about Amazon Cloud, iCloud, Cisco devices, Fortinet devices, many of the different, different devices and digital devices uses this log4j. We may not even aware of that, that our software is also using the log4j. 
If you are aware that you are using Apache server, the log file is there, you can remediate it, you can, you can fix it. But many of the times, we may not be aware of that, that our system, our software is also using the log 4J. In that case, it's very difficult to find uh, the vulnerability uh, that we are using older version of log 4J so that we can fix it. Right? So now, how we can fix this vulnerability? First of all, to find, we should have to find out that your system, your web server, your software is vulnerable with log 4G vulnerability. So what you can do is, there are some tools that you call vulnerability assessment tool. Using that, you can, you know, you can, uh, you know, uh, scan your network device, security device, applications, etc. To find out if any of your software, system, or network devices are using vulnerable version of log 4G. Right? One one uh, you know uh, uh, one short term fixes is there one short term fix is there that that jnd lookup right then the jnd lookup program you can disable by doing manually code changes on the log 4 g software you can remove this jnd lookup on the program file itself but the problem is maybe while deleting it maybe it will create some error some some maybe some 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 other things will be changed and it can create the problem so that's why you have that option but this is not recommended another option to fix it is to you can update it to the later version of log 4g 2.0 to 2.14 are you know are, in, uh, are vulnerable so you should upgrade your you know uh, uh, your log 4g version to the latest log 4g version software right so this is what we can do uh, if our system is vulnerable with our software or our web servers are vulnerable with log 4g vulnerability so i hope you like this video if uh, so kindly share comment or subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it so now uh, now onwards i'm going to create a series of you know most frequently asked question uh, for cyber security so you can subscribe this channel and uh, you know you can also click on bell icon so that whenever i upload or whenever i come live in youtube you'll get the notification okay thank you for watching bye bye